Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing how to find the n term of the geometric sequence. So before we start our lesson, let us define first what is a geometric sequence. So geometric sequence is a sequence where each term after the first term is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a non-zero constant called the common ratio. So we have the formula for the geometric sequence. So we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1 power, wherein a sub 1 is the value of the first term, n is equal to the number of terms, a sub n is the n term, and r is equal to the value of the common ratio. Now, to find the value of the common ratio, so we have the formula r is equal to a sub 2 over a sub 1 is equal to a sub 3 over a sub 2 is equal to a sub 4 over a sub 3. So let's have our first example. Find the a sub 10 or the 10th term of the sequence 5, 20, 80, and 320. So the first step is to get or to find the common ratio. So we will use the formula of the common ratio a sub 2 over a sub 1 equals a sub 3 over a sub 2, and then a sub 4 over a sub 3. Then we will substitute the value. So we have the value of a sub 2 is equal to 20, a sub 1 is 5, a sub 3 is 80, and then a sub 2 is 20, a sub 4 is 320, and then a sub 3 is equal to 80, and then we will divide it. 20 divided by 5 is 4, 80 divided by 20 is 4, 320 divided by 80 is equal to 4. So the value of the common ratio is equal to 4. So therefore, the sequence here is an example of geometric sequence because it has a common ratio. So after that, we will identify the given. We have the value of a sub 1 which is equal to 5, our first term. The value of n which is equal to 10. The value of r which is equal to 4. And we will find for the 10th term of the given geometric sequence. So we will use the formula of the geometric sequence in which a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1 power. Then we will substitute a sub 10 is equal to the value of the first term which is equal to 5, the value of the common ratio which is equal to 4, and then n is again 10, and then 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. So you will just bring it down, bring down 5, bring down 4, and then subtract the exponent which is 9. And then bring down a sub 10 equals 5. And then you will multiply 4 9 times by itself. So 4 to the 9 power is 262,144. And then after that, you will multiply 5 times 262,144. So the value of a sub 10 is equal to 1 million 310,720. So the 10th term of the geometric sequence 5, 20, 80, 320 is 1 million 310,720. So let's have our second example. Find the a sub 9 or the 9th term of the sequence 108, negative 36, 12, negative 4. So we will use the formula to find the common ratio in which r is equal to a sub 2 over a sub 1 equals a sub 3 over a sub 2 equals a sub 4 over a sub 3. Then we will substitute the value. The value of a sub 2 is equal to negative 36. The value of a sub 1 is 108. The value of a sub 3 is 12. And the value of a sub 2 is negative 36. Equals the value of a sub 4 is negative 4. And the value of a sub 3 is equal to 12. Then we will divide negative 36 divided by 108 is negative 1 over 3. 12 divided by negative 36 is negative 1 over 3. And then negative 4 divided by 12 is negative 1 over 3. So the common ratio is equal to negative 1 over 3 or negative 1 third. 
And then after that, we will identify the given. So we have the value of the first term is equal to 108. The value of n is equal to 9. And the common ratio is equal to negative 1 third. And then we will find the value of the 10th term. So we will use the formula. A sub n is equal to the first term times the common ratio raised to n minus 1 power. Then we will substitute. So we have a sub 9 is equal to a sub 1, the value of the first term, times the common ratio, which is equal to negative 1 third, raised to 9 minus 1 power. Bring down a sub 9 equals 108 times negative 1 third, and then subtract 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. And then bring down a sub 9 equals 108 times negative one third to the eighth power so we will multiply negative one third eight times by itself so negative one third to the eighth power is positive one over six thousand five hundred sixty one and then bring down a sub nine equals one hundred eight times one is one hundred eight one times six thousand five hundred sixty one is six thousand five hundred sixty one and then we will get the lowest term and then this is divisible by 27 so 108 divided by 27 is 4 and then 6561 divided by 27 is equal to 4 so the value of the ninth term of the geometric sequence is equal to 4 over 243. So let's now have our last example find the 12th term of the sequence 16 4 one, one fourth. So we will find the value of our common ratio using the formula R is equal to A sub 2 over A sub 1, A sub 3 over A sub 2, and then A sub 4 over A sub 3. And then after that, we will substitute the values. So the value of A sub 2 is equal to 4, the value of A sub 1 is equal to 16, the value of A sub 3 is equal to 1, the value of A sub 2 is 4, and the value of a sub 4 is 1 fourth, and then the value of a sub 3 is equal to 1. So dividing that, 4 divided by 16 is 1 fourth, 1 divided by 4 is 1 fourth, and then 1 fourth divided by 1 is also equal to 1 fourth. So the value of our common ratio is equal to 1 fourth. And then after that, we will identify the given, the value of our first term is equal to 16, the value of n is equal to 12, the value of our common ratio is equal to 1 fourth, and then we will find for the 12th term of the geometric sequence. And then we will use the formula of the geometric sequence. So we have a sub n is equal to first term times the common ratio raised to n minus 1 power. And then we will substitute a sub 12 is equal to 16 times the value of r is 1 fourth raised to 12 minus 1 power. Then bring down a sub 12 is equal to 16 times 1 fourth and 12 minus 1 is 11. And then bring down a sub 12 is equal to 16 and then 1 fourth raised to 11 power. So you will multiply 1 by itself 11 times so the answer is equal to 1 and then you will multiply 4 11 times by itself so the answer is 4,194,304 so that is 1 for raised to 11 power and then after that you will multiply 16 times 1 that is 16 and then 16 over 4,194,304 when you get the lowest term that will be equal to 1 over 262,144. So the value of the ninth term of the geometric sequence is 1 over 262,144. <laughs>